Hey guys, Chameleon.com here. Today we're going to be showing you how to properly change an air filter on your car. And there's three reasons you want to do this. It's going to improve your fuel efficiency. It's going to reduce your emissions and be friendlier for the environment. And then it's also going to prolong the life of your engine. But before we go any further, there's going to be an Amazon link and a Chameleon.com link in the description below for the most affordable auto parts known to man. Air filters, tools, Basically anything you need, chameleon.com has it, or check out the Amazon link if you want the cheapest price on an air filter for your car. So, with that said, do I really need to say any more? This is why you need to change your air filter, guys. The recommended mileage um, that I'm finding on Google is anywhere between 10,000 and 30,000 miles. Fram says every 12,000 miles. Most people I'm really seeing is about 15 to 30. But use your head, guys. If you're in a dusty environment, if you're in the desert, you're gonna have to change them out more often. And if your air filter looks like this, and it looks like it went through a garbage truck, then you definitely need to change your air filter. Also, if you have a wasp nest inside of your intake, that's also a good indication to change your air filter. A um, Couple other little notes that most people don't talk about when changing your air filters, and I'm gonna get into why I believe paper are the most superior, are um, this. So. You're going to find that when you take out your plastic, there's actually going to be dust inside of this intake. And you'll see where I put this in just to show it the benefit of everyone who's watching this video. You're going to see these little dust grimes, these little dust, little black dust. That's from this not being cleaned. So what you want to do before you actually put in your new air filter is dunk these in some soapy water, which we have prepared. Get out of here, air filter. Into a bucket like this. Let it soak for a little bit. And um, wow, look at that, just from putting it in, look at my hand, it's pretty bad in there. So you don't want to put your new air filter in there. Once that is dry and you're done cleaning it, you can then put in your new air filter and it's going to give you better horsepower, better efficiency. There's not going to be grime and gunk going into your combustion chamber, which you really want to avoid. So it's going to help prolong the life of your engine. And that's pretty much it. Pretty self-exclamatory. And where else was I going with this? One more thing, a tip for people who own an Econoline. Um, I might put this in a separate video, but just in case I don't, when you have this 360 clamp system, what you want to do is you want to have this all the way. First off, it's going to be different for every car, but this is a unique car, so I thought I would uh, help Econoline owners. You're going to want to have this extended as far out as possible, meaning this rim pushing outward because this is going to catch the outer lip of this. I'll show you that in a separate video. Um, I'm going to transfer back to this once we're done with this wash. Chameleon.com is out. Peace.